I used to have a lavender plant on both sides of these posts over here in my small pergola, but they eventually died and I pulled them out. So now I'm going to be planting two more, although I'm not gonna be planting them in the same spot. I will be planting one over on this side by the tree and then maybe one further down this side. And these ones here are August folias, and I'll put the name down and I'll also put them down in the description area. But these, these smell like lavender should smell. These are very fragrant. So I'm gonna be doing two of those. And then I have a spirea over on my side garden that I've shown on my garden tours. And it is a uh, magic carpet spirea. This is so beautiful. And I just absolutely love the color. Now this is small and so it's still in that chartreuse uh, state. And it also has the beautiful uh, red colored uh, different I don't know if this one has it as much, but you can very faintly see on the leaves how it has a little bit of pinks and reds in it. It doesn't bloom right now, but the foliage in itself in the springtime is this color. And then over um, through the summer, it starts turning a little bit darker green. But I thought this would look really beautiful right behind that California lilac because it gets three feet by three feet. Uh, tall and wide and so I think this is going to look very stunning back there and hopefully my large eucalyptus back here does not crap on this too much over the winter months because it does a really bad mess in my backyard over the winter months. This one the foliage does uh, drop off in the winter but I don't want big branches dropping off and breaking the limbs so hopefully this will work out. So that's what's in for today. So this is where I'm thinking of putting them. Both of the lavenders right there and the spirea right behind the California lilac over here. Now that looks a little hidden right now, but again, it's going to get three feet by three feet tall and wide. So over time, it's going to look beautiful back there and just fill in that spot. So I think that's a really great spot for it. Plus, spirea is like a little bit of sun protection. That's going to give it uh, the protection that it needs from that harsh direct sunlight. Let me show you what it looks like before and then I'll show you after. So this is what it looks like before and now I'll plant them. So here's what it looks like now. And once the lavender and the white blanket spirea get much bigger and fuller, oh my gosh, this area is going to look very stunning. And I absolutely love the way it came out. I hope you do too. <laughs> 